like we've shown you in the past, sometimes calves are orphaned. This happens to animals in their habitats as well. When it happens here, however, we can do something about it. Like our story about little Ethan, who adjusted well to normal wildebeest life after a little help. Well, this year, we had a scimitar horned oryx calf whose mom passed away. And to continue on last year's trend, we named her after the preceptor who cared for her, Emily. But unlike the others before her, this calf was a bit older when the veterinarians took her in. While at the vet clinic, she took well to her buddy, a Nubian goat named Akona, from our children's animal center. But as usual with orphaned calves, they know the difference between a bottle and mom. Usually with some persistence, they will come around to the bottle. This calf, however, was more interested in grazing than the bottle and traded in milk for grass rather quickly. This, as you can imagine, was good news because it meant she would be able to transition back to the herd without the vet staff weaning her from the bottle in the pasture. Well, fast forward to today, and Emily has been out with the herd for over a month now. If it weren't for the ear tag, I'm not sure I would have been able to pick her out. So next time you're driving through Fossil Rim, look for ear tag 795 white and say hi to Emily.